Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Zero to 60. And now on this episode, we're gonna try and get the E93 DCT car off of the trailer. And it's not live, so I'm gonna make sure we do it in this one video. Um, something I just wanna to touch on from yesterday's video, a lot of guys said that you can actually get these into neutral without going underneath the car. Yes, you can if the car has power. When I was trying to adjust this on the side of the highway, when I realized that the auction had put it a little bit too far back on the trailer, um, the car had no power, the battery was all disconnected and I didn't have a jump pack. So when they're dead, even with the Allen key trick just down in the shift, it won't actually work. And I did try it, but um, yeah, it definitely caught me out, but it made the drive home quite exciting. Anyway, I'm gonna time lapse this. Now I know that side of the cars, there's not too much damage, but obviously we've got radiator, AC condenser. I think the charge pipe's gonna be smashed. What I wanna do before I even try and crank it over is basically get all this mess away from the drive belt. We don't want the drive belt getting knocked off and getting sucked into the crank hub. Um, and also just make sure that there's not gonna be anything sucked into the intake. So I think I'm gonna time lapse sort of taking all this front stuff off and then we'll see if we can start it up. Okay, so we now have clearance around, probably can't see with the camera, but the drive belt has complete clearance. Now I was hoping there was no damage to the charge pipe, but it is smashed off of the throttle body. Hopefully you guys can see that. So we're not gonna have a map sensor on the charge pipe working properly, but I'm hoping it'll idle okay. Now with the charge pipe smashed off, we shouldn't actually get any of this debris sucked up into the throttle body. So that's good. Um, power steering lines are smashed. AC lines are smashed. Coolant lines are smashed. But the engine oil cooler is good. So we're going to have oil. So hopefully we actually run it for a minute or two. And long enough to get it off the uh, trailer. Now I've had the battery on charge for two days now. I'm going to hook the battery up, jump straight in and see if we can drive it off. Wish me luck. Okay, so as you can see from that, it started and it moved. Now we haven't pumped any massive amounts of fluids out as I've started it. Let's just go and have a quick look at what's going on over here. And please everybody ignore the E36 M3 Evo. You did not see that yet, that's for another time. Um, so yeah, we've got no power steering, but the transmission, that all seemed to work. That is coolant dripping down. All right, no immediate worries. And I didn't hear anything strange while it was running. A Little bit of N54 combustion smoke, that's normal. All right, I might start it up again. Ugh. Huh, DSC failure, who would have thought? flat tire failure. We've got a few errors, but I mean, that's sort of expected. What I want to do is see if this gearbox works okay. So we might just take it for a drive. Ooh. And we'll see how bad the uh, transmission is. This is uh, kind of sketchy with no power steering. Reverse seems to work. Oh God. The adaptive headlights aren't working. What a shame. And 
I'd say there's a bit of an alignment issue. <laughs> alright, we lock up alright. Far out. How do these not have reverse cameras? The car doesn't go in a straight line. <laughs> Very hard to reverse when it's not going straight. But, put the transmission into drive. And we'll just make sure it goes through the gear. Uh, pulls away fine. Shifts nicely. <gasps> hmm. ABS doesn't work, but it looks like we've got a good transmission. All right, I might just go and park it up around the back. In fact, I need to go backwards for that. In fact, I'll see you guys up there. Oh, I can't help myself. DCT! Whoop whoop! I love those shifts! We're NA, but whatever. <laughs> oh, I really shouldn't be doing that. All right, we've made it up to wreck heaven. Let's turn her off. We've gone into park. The shifter, everything is functioning perfectly on that side. Woo! Gearbox is good. Well, good so far. All right, and while we're here, I did just turn it off. Hopefully it's got enough battery charge in it. I just kind of want to see if the roof will actuate because I reckon these are worth some money. Maybe I have to shut the door. Roof storage, aha! Okay, I know the storage tray is not okay yep there's some, there's some mess put the storage tray down okay i'm never going to own a convertible so i thought it'd be fun to try right hey holy shit that's loud Oh, it's quiet actually. The mechanism's really quiet. Whoa. The roof works. Huh. Don't know how I feel about it. Not much of a convertible fan, but I'm surprised that works so well. Hey, I'm just thinking of things that I might be able to recoup some money from. Oh, hang on, I have oh, my keys in it. So, what we, will it go back up? Hey. There we go. Man, that mechanism is very nice. Can engineer. Ooh, back window. There we go, I think. Oh yeah, and the windows go up. Damn, all right, the roof works. All right, oh, hang on. There, oh, yeah. it's in park. Put the handbrake on. What do you think, King? We lucky? I think we're lucky. Everything seems okay that I'm interested in. It's good to know that we can drive the car around. Yeah, I'm gonna have to crack on with uh, getting it stripped out, I think. When? I'm so glad the gearbox was good and it did everything it should definitely needs a bit of an alignment but she drives all right i'm happy all right i'm gonna end that off here we know that the parts car starts runs and the gearbox is good engine seems good as well in fact should we just have a quick listen might just run it again yeah she's still cold as even though i've been trying to flat shift it M51. 
54 for the win. All right, guys, I'm going to end it off here because that is enough. Actually, I better take the key out so it doesn't lock itself. And I think I'll disconnect the battery as well. Um, but yeah, I think we've been lucky. We actually got a good card from the auction. Nice. All right, yeah, so plan is probably, I still need to get a little bit more information on getting this running gear or this transmission into my car. Um, quite a few people have messaged me with some helpful info, but I haven't got a, a solid plan yet. But what I'll probably do is actually just get it all stripped out of this in the next week or so and go from there. But yeah, we'll get it up on the hoist and get everything pulled out of it. I'm stoked. A win. All right, guys, we'll catch you on the next one.